okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so we're going to go ahead and get a message for you if you are dealing with a cancer now this cancer could be anybody to you they could be a family member a friend a co-worker right they could be a love interest so let's jump into this now these are general please do not treat them as personal readings just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest okay virgo now cross watcher if you are in here feel free to reverse the roles if you are dealing with a virgo okay all right so let's jump into this give me one card for my virgos that are dealing with a cancer thank you spirit anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thank you to those who donate to the channel it's very much appreciated and hello to all the new subscribers so last shuffle one card from a virgo's dealing with a cancer thank you spirit what is the energy here oh two okay so we do have nothing yet is set in stone. So this always gives me the indication for some of you, right? Maybe if you feel like a situation is over with a cancer here, um, it may not quite be. Nothing yet is set in stone. It kind of gives me an in-between energy, right? It's not yes and it's not no. Some of you could be going through a very confusing situation with a cancer where you kind of don't know whether you're coming or going with this person. The first card I saw was, you are good enough, Virgo. So whatever this situation is with this cancer, this is the energy of don't blame you, right? You haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're kind of thinking here. You are good enough, okay? And then we have coming out behind it is a fiery climax approaches. So we'll see what this is about. I did answer for one card, but they've given us two. So... Let's get two cards from the mermaid deck. See, this could have been for some of you a scenario here where, do you know what, maybe this cancer didn't feel like you was good enough before or something like that. They may be wanting to return, but we'll see what the fiery climax is about. All right, for Virgo dealing with a cancer what is you are good enough thank you spirit and two cards again so you have healing and acceptance so i don't know if these are both supposed to go under you are good enough right but it could be telling me that some of you may need to go through some kind of healing right with this healing card, it could even be an energy of going around people um, that appreciate you, that understand you, that uplift you, right? That make you feel happy, that high vibing energy. I almost want to say your soul tribe um, with the healing card. But with the mermaids in this deck, it could also be saying to me that your ancestors and your angels are very much around you here, right? Watching over you, sending you that kind of healing and then you have acceptance. Now, the acceptance card to me is an energy. Some of you, this could be even be talking about the past is also what I'm hearing here for some of you, right? Maybe you went through something with this cancer where they did kind of put you in that energy where you didn't feel good enough here. Maybe you're going through the healing now. Maybe you've already done your healing. You've come into this energy, right, where you have learn to accept yourself learn to accept the things that happen around you are for a reason learn to accept that people that leave your life that is just the way it's meant to be right there is something better waiting for you so let's see a fiery climax approaches can i have one card as a part of the deck i am seeing be spontaneous and decisions so <laughs> I'm hearing a blast from the past. Kind of reminds me of it. It's reminding me of the film um, Demolition Man with um, Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes. Um, a blast from the past. So for some of you, I don't know if some of you have heard from a cancer that it's been a while, right? I mean, I'm talking about it could even be years, right? So let's see. 
a fiery climax approaches. Me one card for my Virgos dealing with a cancer. Thank you. Letting go and then at the bottom of the deck you have love. So some of you, this may be a cancer that wants to communicate because you have communication right behind it. They may want to communicate here with you. Maybe because they're finding it a little bit difficult in terms of letting this situation go. But again, that would be really weird because I just said, I felt like I felt an energy for some of you. This may be years, someone you haven't maybe talked to in years, dealt with in years, haven't even thought about like that in years. Someone here is finding it difficult to let go. So let's get some tarot. Give me three cards. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you have the three of swords, which talks about heartbreak. It talks about somebody being in pain. Page of swords. It's maybe somebody who has been watching you for a while, but been holding back. Um, three cards for you are good enough. And my Virgo is dealing with a cancer. Healing and acceptance. Why is it here? For the sign of cancer. For the sign of cancer. For the sign of Virgo. Thank you. Give me three cards, Spirit. First one, the Strength card, Leo energy, Leo and Virgo energy, excuse me. Okay, two more cards. The sign of Virgo, thank you, Spirit. The Queen of Wands, well, okay, Virgo. Give me one more. Thank you. Well, well, well. Look at my Virgos. Who is this? The strength card. <laughs> Which talks about finding the courage, finding the strength to get back up, right? It could also be that somebody, we saw that page of swords, that you are giving off this strength energy. Somebody sees you. Not only are you giving off the energy that you are strong, Strong enough to pull yourself back from anything that anyone can throw at you. For a lot of you, it's because you hold on to faith. A lot of you, it's because you believe in your ancestors and your angel. And you know they're watching. And you know they're looking after you. And you know that they're guiding you. I'm almost hearing when you have self-confidence, self-belief, self-worth, when you learn to accept yourself, who can overthrow that power? In order for people to overthrow you, control you, manipulate you, you have to be vibing in a low energy. You have the Queen of Wands, which talks about not underestimating yourself. It talks about motivation. Again, in this card, the black cat, your ancestors, angels watching over you. This card even reminds me kind of um, of the Egyptian times. So some of you may have, I don't know, be related, not related, but have some kind of Egyptian blood or be connected to Egyptians or something like that. Or you have ancestors that are. But this is looking beautiful. This is sitting in the upright. There's no space for self-doubt here. And when you can sit in that kind of energy, who else would you come up as but the Empress? Or Emperor if you're a man in here watching and this very much resonates with you. Do take it how it resonates, okay guys? The Empress, abundant, giving birth to ideas, projects, new things, almost like the Midas touch. Now, some of you could be expecting, or the Empress is usually a mother, so, you know, I could be talking to single mothers or single fathers, people who have done the journey alone, who have had to, who was faced with those hard decisions, right, and situations. But again, through faith, through believing, you was pulled through. 
So let's see what this fiery climax is and letting go. Two swords at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this is somebody that is maybe at a crossroads. For some of you, this may be somebody you have blocked. For some of you, this is somebody that you just refuse to acknowledge. Don't come over here. I don't see you. I don't care. But let's see. Give me three cards. A fiery climax approaches and letting go. For my Virgos dealing with a cancer. Thank you, sir. The seven of pentacles coming out here. Show me more. And the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck we have the five of swords. With the nine of swords. And the six of swords. There's somebody here that is having some kind of anxiety and stress and worry. Now I'm hearing one-up you. I don't know if someone here tried to one-up you, right? With the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords could also be representing lies. The Five of Swords could also talk about petty behavior, immature communication. I feel like for some of you, to be honest, Virgos, I feel like this is, may have been somebody who, whether this is now, whether this is in the past, right, tried to hurt you somehow. But I feel like the shocking, I'm hearing, revelation. <laughs> the shocking revelation, I don't know, for them is that they didn't expect you to get back up. The lovers, the sun, and the page of cups, and the devil, and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you know, so for some of you now, because you're in this power, because you're in this energy that you're giving off here, because they actually do see your strength, and that you are not going to let something that happened between you and them stop you from moving forward and being abundant, now, now you seem interesting. The lovers... The Sun card and the Page of Cups. Now, this could be representing here that some of you have started something brand new and you are happy in this relationship. A relationship that's lighthearted, that's fun. If the weather is nice where you are, you could be going out with this person, right? And then you have the Devil and the Wheel of Fortune and the, page and the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, this person was toxic from the past that wants to come back in with this offer. But the Wheel of Fortune is there. And the Wheel of Fortune is an energy of some things are just destined to happen. So with that Seven of Pentacles, with that letting go, we have, you have this person maybe in the energy of, you know, they are kind of, Looking at what they've invested in. Did it work for them? Did it grow? Is it abundant? Is things going the way they planned? And for a lot of you, no. It's not. Because if it was, they wouldn't have time to look back at you, Virgo. They'd be so invested in their own journey, in their own abundance, in going forward. You have the Nine of Pentacles that came out. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is your energy with the Ten of Pentacles here. So it could be them kind of thinking back and thinking, do you know what? Why didn't I invest more into Virgo? Why didn't I see what I could have had with Virgo? So I see love at the bottom of the deck. So what was the issue here? What caused the separation? Contemplation for some of you. For some of you, this person couldn't make up their mind. I'm hearing egotistic. Go. Egotistical? Egotistic? Hmm. Indecisive. 
But I'm also hearing this person thought they could have it all. So I don't know what that means. Is this, does it mean having more than one situation and hoping that you would have stuck around? All right. Contemplation. They couldn't make up their mind for some of you. Okay. They wanted to have it all. Now show me what I was going to say. Show me going forward. <laughs> Can I ask a question first? Thank you. <laughs> Virgos, going forward for you, you have re-energized. Yes, you bring yourself back. It reminds me of the death card. Death and a rebirth, right? And also you have landing on top of that empress, you have positivity. That is the energy that you have bring yourself into or that is the energy that you need to be in. Yeah. As I part the deck, I see turn away. Some of you waited for this person. But I feel like for a lot of you, even though this person may be trying to come towards you, once they see that you really aren't interested, once they see the, the love that you have for yourself, for your situation, for your life, for your energy, they will have no choice but to turn away. So let's end with a, I actually want to end on a love and light. For my Virgos dealing with, where are we at? Yeah, a cancer. Thank you, spirit. Just one card for my Virgos. What is the message to end this reading? One message for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So you have <laughs> commit to a spirit of excellence. Whatever you do, do well. That's what I have for you, Virgos. If you are dealing with a cancer or cross watcher, whoever is in here. Again, my information is always down below if you're interested in a personal reading. If you're interested in donating to the channel. And hello to new, the, all the new subscribers. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, share these videos. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, do stay safe, love and light.